Hello everyone and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back on the Sony PlayStation. I'm the Super Sheep Daniels. Today we're going to take care of the next stage, the Eel Deal. Oh yes, well we're actually going to get 100% on this level now because this isn't that bad a stage from what I remember. So we just move in, it's an obligatory sewer level, so if you don't like sewer levels... Usually it's because they're usually boring levels. Fortunately, sewer levels are like every other level in this game and they're pretty fun. And they have nice, there's a couple of nice gimmicks, like these fans and these enemies you can... Well, normally you can spin that enemy into the fan, and that's usually how you get rid of the fans, but fortunately, unfortunately, the game doesn't want, doesn't want me to do that. But the major gimmick here is electrified eels. There's a lot of electrical eels across the waters of these sewers, and uh, they will occasionally make the, they'll make the water electrified, and you do not want to jump into those sewer, the sewage waters when they're electrified. It hurts. It really does. And you can't do anything about these eels either, so it's really just a timing game. So, it, it's really easier than it looks though. But anyway, first things first, we want to sidetrack over to this pathway here. And it looks like you can't really do anything, doesn't it? It looks like a very empty room filled with explosives. Oh no! That's an invisible room. Well, that door is... The door has no collision detection. Run, run through the door and you'll gain access to this pathway here. Now this pathway by here is very important because this will lead you directly to the green gem of this level. So, colored gems, yay, they're all beautiful. Wouldn't green gem technically be an emerald? I mean, that's what it looks like. It looks like a piece of the master emerald. Oh no. Anyway, we need to grab this and just move backwards. Now, one thing if you have no Aku Aku Mask by here, I would recommend you to speed run by uh, killing yourself. But, I don't want to do that because I have an Aku Aku Mask and I want to keep it for as long as possible. So I'm going to move back as quickly as I can, making sure I don't get hurt while trying to. I say trying to because it's, uh, chances are I'm going to get hurt. But anyway, ooh, make sure I jump to the left hand side of this, there we go. Now we need to be careful traversing this, this wretched room of explosives. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. Ah, I don't like nitros. Anyway, with that, that's probably... That's that. It's done. So we got now... We now officially have the emerald gem. The emerald gem. The green gem, yes. So let's just continue moving onwards. So this, this stage obviously is the first of its kind in this game, so it's really not that big of a deal if you to get through. It's really easy. First sewer level, what can I say? Anyway, bonus time, let's do this to see what's the challenge this time. I can't remember this one in particular, although we do want a body slam here and get- Oh my god, this is so fulfilling. You know, I never I never commented on how good it feels to just body slam a lot of crates like that. But anyway, with that, that's that. That's probably one of the easiest bonus rooms yet. I think that's easier than the very first one, for god's sake. Huh. Well, no matter. Anyway, um... Those spiky things, you can spin into them, I wouldn't recommend it at first because obviously you spin into those spiky things and they hurt you. So what you want to do is basically jump on them. I spun into that one as an example and because I want to show off that you can actually spin enemies into the fans to get rid of the fans. Which you will need to know to get through this game. Now, as you can tell, this pathway by here has the crystals. So what we want to do now is move to this pathway which leads directly to the end of the level. And hopefully I haven't missed any crates. Except for the obvious TNT Nitros, which we should be fine with, because I'm pretty sure they, they're going to lob us a, you know, a TNT, a, a Nitro Explosive crate somewhere along the lines. Actually, I think it's by here. Don't jump down that hole yet. That hole is where you're meant to go. You need to run past the hole and get these. I made the mistake of thinking that was a bonus room when I first played through, so, uh, yeah, just don't, don't do that. So, now that I got everything in here... These grates you can uh, climb on just by jumping into them. Now these things are used quite a lot more in Crash 3 than they are in Crash 2. But um, well, you, ne you need to be pretty good at timing it in order to survive these cr these grates. Because, well, obviously, enemies will be coming up across, up and down from these things. You have a little... your crouch will still work and your spin will. But, I don't know how that even physically, that's physically possible, mind you, but it works. But these enemies by here, for example, you cannot kill. You you try to kill them, you'll die. So um, what you want to do is basically try and avoid them at all costs. Make sure they do not touch you in any way. Because bad touching is not cool, man. And this by here is actually the final stretch. So just be careful of these spiky, shiny things. 
And there's the exit right there, you know, the little out of place ruins. So there we go, in we go, slidey time. We have completed the slide, well thank god for that. See, the, the, now that I've gone into my stride again, this session's going rather well, surprisingly. Which I probably should not say, but it is, it has been, it's been going rather well. So there, eel deal complete, and I'm pretty sure we're going to have Codex sending us a message right now. Do the dance later. I said do the dance later. There we go. 10 of 25 crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between warp rooms. Remember, I'm counting. And with that, he basically means it's time to take care of the next boss fight of the game. So let's just move on up. Thumbs up, Crash. There we go. On odds to fight against the Komodo Brothers. Now, I, I always forget about these guys in the Crash series because they don't seem to show up too often. But they are a very good boss fight and I mainly remember them from Crash Team Racing because of the god-awful boss race against one of these guys. Seriously, the boss race in Crash Team Racing is just... Brutally unfair. Anyway, um, what you have to do with this fight is uh, fairly simple. First things first, the slim guy, which I always forget his name, will be spun around by the big guy, which I also forget his name. And you just need to really dodge him until he gets tired out. When he gets tired out and he just lands on the floor all dizzy like, spin into him, which will uh, it'll hurt the boss. And that's pretty much all you need to do. You need to rinse and repeat. Like so. Very easy boss fight, but when you hit them once, um, the big guy will actually start throwing swords at you. So, what you really need to do to avoid the swords is simply move the opposite direction. It's very easy to avoid. Very easy boss, all in all. And, to be honest, nobody should have any trouble fighting him. Now, if you get too close to the big guy, he will attack you with his swords, and occasionally he'll throw swords at you. So, um... Again, you need to be very wary, but for the most part, you should be pretty safe. Should be. And for the most part, you he usually doesn't he doesn't do a full 360 around the room normally, so chances are you can probably find a safe spit and just sit there without doing anything whatsoever. Anyway, now it's going to sh start chucking these swords at me. Now, the time that um, one of the brothers is spinning will uh, it's pretty randomized, so. Just be careful and on your guard. But with that, we have now cleared. So you guys have gone down because Crash Bandicoot is in the house, son. Yeah. Fantastic. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your medal. But now is not the time to get cocky. Still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Thank you, thank you very much. And with that, we are now going to I'm going to finish up the part here. Bit of a short part, I know, but I want to try and keep uh, everything as easy to follow as possible. So, yeah, drop my controller. <laughs> With that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate a like or comment in the video. And next time we return, we'll take care of the sewer world and get off get off the get off this memory card screen. I'll save the game in a minute. And we'll take care of plant food and various other levels. So, thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye!